you have chemistry and credibility. I can tell you across the world. Thank you, sir. Uh, Gurdjieff, uh, I am Dr. Sunita Sharma from Faculty of Management Study, uh, MS University. Uh, sir, I was uh, uh, studying a chapter. Um, uh, Mr. Nipendra Mishra, no shadow between idea and reality. Or as you have heard of it, so one question is that in the Mahabharata Yudhya, there is Krishna and Rajya. Because of that, the Mahabharata Yudhya is not done. I have a question that when you and your Nadi Sir are done, तो इसमें प्रश्न कौन होता है तो ये दो चीजों पर अगर आप अपना प्रकाश डालें तो अच्छा है। जो देखें जो श्री कृष्ण हैं वो तो साबित है इसमें कोई शक्ति बात तो है नहीं। अब मुझे लगता है अगर आप अर्जुन ढूंढेंगे तो इसमें कुछ और लोग हैं आप आप भी जानते हैं मैं भी जानता हूँ। लोग जो हैं महाभारत के बजाय रामायण की तरफ जाते हैं और वहाँ सेवा का भाव तो आप आप जानते हैं किसके साथ जोड़ना है तो दूसरा जो आपका प्रश्न जो है कि कितने सारे योजनाएं हैं आज सचमुच आज एक बार आज का कार्यक्रम अगर आप देखें और ये ये यूट्यूब में जरूर होगा ये नहीं है कि एक कार्यक्रम का एक लाभ बल्कि जो उस वर्ग के हैं जिनको माने सरकार से सपोर्ट चाहिए वो तो हर स्कीम के लिए माने तड़पते हैं ना कि जिनके घर में पानी नहीं है जिनके घर में बिजली नहीं है ये तो स्वाभाविक होगा कि उनके घर में गैस सिलेंडर भी नहीं हो या उनको महामारी के समय में अन्य योजना की जरूरत पड़ेगी तो एक एक मैं कहूँगा कि प्रशासन के लिए एक चुनौती जो है कि 20-25 अगर योजनाएं हैं बिल्कुल आपने अब तक माने क्वेश्चन बिल्कुल ठीक इन सब को कैसे माने टारगेट की तरफ मैक्सिमम इंपैक्ट मैक्सिमम रिलीफ के लिए लेते और मैं कहूँगा कि आठ साल के बाद इस 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 एक्सरसाइज में हम बहुत सफल रहे कि आज जब मुझे हम लोग जो सुन रहे हैं कि कोई था जिन्होंने कहा कि मैं चार स्कीम की लाभ लेती हूँ कोई पांच का लेता है और ये ये नेचुरल और ये अच्छा होना भी चाहिए क्योंकि ये जो ये अब ये योजना के कॉन्सेप्ट में नहीं है एक समय था सबके मन में था कि ये जो सोशल वेलफेयर स्टेट जो कहते हैं ना अंग्रेश सोशल वेलफेयर स्टेट जो है ये डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज के लिए अब मोदी जी ने साबित किया है कि अगर आप टेक्नोलॉजी का उपयोग करें माने रास्ते में लीकेज ना हो अगर आपकी नियत साफ है अगर आपकी दूरदृष्टि है अगर आपको प्रशासन में सुशासन ला सकते हैं जो सपने जो जो डेवलप जो विकसित देश के लिए थे वो विकासशील देश के सपने भी हो सकते हैं और इन सपनों की डिलीवरी भी हो सकती है ये ये आपके इवेंट में बहुत क्लियरली दिखा वेरी गुड इवनिंग सर सर तो यूथ गेट्स प्रेफरेंस या uh, very good evening, sir. Uh, being an Indian Foreign Service aspirant, it's a matter of great pride for me to stand here and interact with you. So my question is, we recently joined IEPF and it's neither binding nor it uh, provides any benefits, substantive benefits to its member nations. So how we as a growing economy are looking at it and what according to you can be its future prospects that can help us achieve 
our five trillion dollar aim and go even beyond that. Uh, you know, uh, this is like this. We have questions we have asked. We have a new vyavastha hai. This is called Indo-Pacific Economic Forum. This is when Pradhan Mantri Ji is in Japan. So this is a quad country. So this is the first meeting. So this is the first meeting. 12 या 13 देश जो हैं जो इंडो पर्सिक के देश हैं इन्होंने मिलके ये ये डेक्लेरेशन साइन किया तो आंसर तू यो इस दिस तो इट इस डिफरेंट पीपल से दैट इट इस यू नो डेजल वीडियो मार्केट एक्सेस इट इस फर्स्ट वर्ड इट इस नॉट येट देयर इट इस सिल्वर इन नेगोशिएटिंग सेकंडली इट्स अ so, uh, because today, for various reasons, many countries will not do free trade agreements. So, I think don't be taken in by the fact it is different. This is like somebody saying, you know, this hockey game doesn't look like cricket, therefore it is not a good game. It's not a cricket game, it's a different game. So, uh, do, but you have to be patient also to, for it to unfold. It will take one year to unfold. Hello, sir. First of all, I must congratulate your government and me in person that uh, you have been able to check the uh, evil designs of China on our part. Effectively so far. But uh, the question is in my mind, with so much of uh, image we have got now, are we doing something to teach them a lesson that uh, they go back where they were? I did listen to you something in uh, this yesterday. But uh, unless it uh, not to be disclosed here, I won't resist. But I hope we are doing something to see that we have a, a, a good image that uh, world that China is not uh, moving us. No, I'm to be frank, I don't think that is the perception in the world. The perception in the world is that what China did uh, in 2020 uh, was not was wrong. Uh, uh, that people that understand that China did not. Uh, did not follow agreements uh, that they had with us. I think most of the world understands that uh, who is right and who is wrong. Uh, but what do we do? I, I think the answer you can see, uh, which is that on the ground, I think the Indian armed forces are deployed uh, to protect our country. And where, you know, I am concerned and my, uh, my department is concerned, our job is to negotiate with the Chinese and to convince them that this is not in their interest and that uh, it is better to uh, go, you know, not attempt to uh, change unilaterally what is done from their side. Yeah. So let us leave it at that, if okay. you don't mind. Okay, thank you. Good evening, sir. Hello, sir. This is Ashish Kotaria from the Department of Political Science. In the beginning of your speech, you mentioned that Prime Minister Modi told you that you should visit the Sark nations. And he clearly said to you, but while visiting these SAR countries, but one thing's keeping in mind uh, that... No, no, I, I know that chapter. I, yeah, that, mutual consent. Uh, uh. But my question is, would you agree with me that the current state dispensation policy from the non-aligned movement to the multi-aligned movement will be in the interest of uh, India? Is it the bilateralism, multilateralism, or the trilateralism because see what happened on the Russian Ukrainian war and Afghanistan it's India's abstentionist policy abstain from the voting policy don't you think it's not in the interest of India uh, many questions I will answer very simply say every country will make a choice should make a choice which is in their interest now you ended with Ukraine uh, we, the, we, you know, we, we have, first of all, a clear position on Ukraine. We are against the fighting in Ukraine. Okay. Prime Minister has himself spoken to President Putin. He has spoken to the Ukrainian President Zelensky. And the main message which we have sent is we are against the fighting. We will support any attempt to have a ceasefire. In the beginning, the reason was also because many students were there. 
but now even without the students we actually are for an end to the fighting because if the fighting doesn't end the talking can never get serious okay so that is the first point the point which you made about you know sark and um, you know where where we are see for us everybody wants to get along with their neighbor who does not you know each one of you is your next person in the hostel you want to be on good terms next person on the street you want to be on the good terms but if you have one country which does not follow the basic rules and you know somebody comes to your house at night and attacks you somebody disturbs the peace and you know feels it is their right to do so you cannot accept it beyond a point so today our attempt is on each of the challenges we face think the challenge for ourselves look at it from our you know there is a term india first now what happened people sometimes think india first mane hamara hit hai duniya bhar mein jaye that is a wrong way india first means look at the world with india at indian interest at the center but work with the world the world is our friend i can tell you, you go anywhere in the world people like indians people respect indians under prime minister modi our stock has gone up the the general there is a there is a good feel about us in the world unlike some other countries i won't take any names huh? so i want you to understand we should use that feeling we should use that feeling to actually also develop india that is why for me you know when i see fdi come in when i see foreign collaboration when i see bullet train when i see you know something in environment koi freight corridor banna koi infrastructure project these are good ways we must use foreign policy to grow a very warm welcome sir so so the side thodi samay ni maryada che ek kadu last le ya so maybe have a long question from here this yeah. side sir Yeah, okay. Good evening, sir. Very brief. Yeah, uh, I am student of Masters of Commerce from MSU. Uh, my question is: Keep your mic closer, please, sir. Yeah, the world has become a global village now. So hmm. any event which happens in any part of the world, it affects us all. So uh, on the other end, the Prime Minister is working tirelessly to tie stronger question. bonds. Question. Yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. So uh, my question is: How on policy front are we approaching this paradox? Okay. Oh, I I will take two more questions yes, yeah. very quickly. Um, yes. Hello, sir. Good evening. I'm Professor Neeti Chopra, and uh, I I'm, I'm the head and dean in Faculty of Journalism right. and Communication. Question. So my quick question is that uh, in all your travels overseas, um, in context of the chapter written by.